My name is Zach Weiland, and I'm here on a 60-day survival challenge. I've got some limited tools, a canteen, a knife, and some camera equipment, and that's it. Got a couple goals for the day, and that is to find some clean, drinkable water. I need to build a shelter, and I've also got to make a fire. I'm running out of daylight, and I've got a lot to do, so I've got to get going, and I'll check back in with you later. This is starting to look a little bit better. So uh, we're losing some uh, some sunlight. We've got some definite shade in here. And the creek bed basically disappeared. We're just going to follow this little animal trail and see where it goes. We're looking for something that's going to be flat. Maybe 10 to 12 feet above the potential water line. This is looking a lot better. You can see that natural dam right there with some, some severe flooding. All right, I think, uh, I think we found what's going to be our base camp. You guys got to check this out here. All right, so to the left, that's, uh, that's the high ground that we're talking about. Down here, this could be a potential food source. Uh, tadpoles, frogs, you know, who knows. Over here, you can see that we've got a lot of low-hanging fruit, wood and materials for, to help build the shelter with. We've got a log over here to the right. So I'll go ahead and start cutting that in a minute. Everything over here looks great. We're gonna start pulling logs out almost immediately. We've got 10 posts, so um, this is gonna take a while. This is the base or the framework. As you can see, we have two posts on this side. Then we have our base, three posts here, another base, another three posts, and then two posts to knock her out there. We're kind of burning daylight, so I got to get going. We're going to stack wood um, branches all over here, up each wall, and then we'll top it off with some brush. So we're at the end of the first day and I am absolutely wiped out. But I think it's probably best if I go ahead, get some sleep and get a nice early start tomorrow. All right guys, so it's uh, end of the first night. I wanted to bring you inside the shelter. You saw it from the outside. Um, over here, <laughs> we have a wall, we have a roof, very thankful. Very thankful for the roof. Um, there's the stuff I brought and uh, yeah. So that's it. Good night and we'll see you in the morning.
So here we are, day two, morning one. We've got a little bit of uh, rain coming down right now. I gotta say last night was pretty uncomfortable. Um, you see that I've taken the roof off um, already. Did that first thing this morning. And uh, so we're actually gonna put more of like a lean-to kind of roof on there. Uh, and it's gonna be a little bit more permanent and a lot more comfortable. Goal two is kind of symbiotic where we're gonna have fire and then water so we can get some water boiled to uh to drink this morning i'm going to explore the area a little bit while i'm looking for water i'm also looking for wild edibles that would be like blackberries onions chickweed fireweed stuff like that maybe a frog or a tadpole for some quick protein This is an overflow of a river. The water has to be nearby. This is a uh, this is a pretty massive flooding area, and uh, so there's going to be some big water here before too long. Wow, we got some fresh water. Looks like we found our water source. As you can see in the background, it's moving pretty quickly, so that should uh, reduce a lot of the bacteria. And what I've got here is a little stainless steel um, cup, and this is what we're going to use to collect our water, and then also boil it before we drink it. That way we get rid of the parasites and all that bad stuff that, uh, that makes you sick. So I'm going to get, try and get a fire going. I'm going to put a little notch in this piece of wood for the spindle. And then I'm going to spin the spindle in the notch that I made, which should create a small ember. And that ember, I'm going to blow into a flame. All right, well, great news, I got fire. So that's gonna make life a lot easier. So I, I couldn't be more happy right now. So we're gonna go try and find some dinner and uh, I'm gonna boil some water while we're trying to find dinner. This should also keep some of the bugs away. So I got the fire going, I got the water boiling um, now I'm going to go out and I'm going to get some leaves to go on top of our shelter and uh, maybe find some dinner. While I was out, found a little bitty frog. And uh, all you can really eat on them are the legs, so it's not a lot of meat here. And I'm just gonna drape it over this stick that's really not that dry of a stick. So I think that's gonna be pretty good right there. So I've got my food, water, fire and shelter. 
Um, I'm just going to take it easy tonight and uh, hang out here at camp. You know, the hope from here on out is we just keep improving every day. Maybe a little bit to the shelter. Maybe find a little bit more food and drink a little bit more water. But overall, I'm really pleased with, uh, with where I'm at right now. The fire is my best friend out here. It's taking the place of my cell phone. Without it, I don't have water. I don't have as much food options. I don't have warmth. So, yeah. I gotta keep feeding the fire so the fire keeps feeding me. I keep hearing something from time to time. I have no idea what it is. Um, but you know, most things out here, you just make some noise, they'll, uh, they'll go away. Last night, whatever that noise was, was pretty, pretty damn scary. I'm not sure what it was. Um, I'm gonna set up a, a camera tonight to try and figure out what it is. And then most importantly, I gotta, I'm gonna go get some water and try and find some food. This is a perfect log to forage. Typically you're gonna find larvae, grub worms, beetles, stuff like that which are not my favorite things to eat, but they're still protein.
right, I'm really excited because I found some green onions out here. They grow in the wild all over the place. I've actually got four in this area, but today I'm only gonna take two out. That way I know I've got two come tomorrow. So I'm just gonna take these with me and uh, this is some really, really great nutrition here. Very excited about this. I'm gonna eat the whole bulb. I'm gonna eat everything there is. We went out foraging earlier today and uh, came across these green onions. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rip these up and then put them into the water. Come back in about 15 minutes and they should be good. All right, so uh, we're, at a, we're at a boil. I kind of moved the camera around to give you a better angle. But as you can see, we're boiling. So I'm just gonna let this cool this is still really hot. I got my chopstick here. Um, so I'm going to eat all the green onions right now. And then as it cools, I'll drink that uh, later on tonight. So <clears throat> I've been hearing something moving around the shelter at night. I just want to take a look around here to see if I see anything. This looks good. Oh, this is like a possum or a foxhole or some kind of den. And that makes, that makes sense that there's a fox den here or possum den. So that must be what I'm hearing at night. God, that makes me feel a lot better. So I'm just setting this camera up to see if I can catch anything on video. Had a really great day today. Um, you know, got some soup in me, which was awesome. Had some fiddle ferns uh, as a snack. Just a really great day all the way around. Very blessed day and I feel really good. A uh, lot of energy and I'm gonna see you in the morning.
been a long day already. It's weird not talking to people, just being out here. Like, even just the two second conversation with the guy at the convenience store is a good conversation. It's, it's exhausting. It really is, it's no joke. I, I thought I did some training before I got out here, but I, I needed a lot more. When I come across roots like this, typically it's a pretty good habitat for protein. Well, it's been a few days since I've really eaten anything. So, it's weird because I'm just not having any luck with any of these down logs or places where you would typically find beetles and, and other kinds of insects. That's, I don't know. When I was out getting water earlier, I came across this journal. Uh, it was kind of buried, and uh, I didn't feel great before. And now, now I don't feel great at all. Whoever wrote this was seeing people, hearing noises. Afraid they were gonna die. So I can't take any more of this right now. Um, hard to read, and uh, it's not gonna make me sleep any better. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, and call it a night. Sounds like it's right outside. They're everywhere. I cannot take another night of this shit.
This is fucked up. I don't see anybody, but they're out there. I'm just, I'm agitated. I don't know what the fuck to do with this thing that I found in front of the shelter this morning. I'm just, I, I don't know. I mean, I haven't even been out here for a week. And I don't know. There's something around my shelter. It's just, you know, I hear I hear leaves and I hear noises and yeah, I get up and I don't see anything. And it's it, it's fucking frightening, is what it is. You know, the fucking voodoo doll and the sticks. Like somebody's somebody's been here. When when you see when you see this stuff on TV. They talk about, you know, make a fire, get some water, build a shelter, find some food. They don't talk about what happens to your head when you're out here. Oh shit! I'm not, uh, I'm not one for campfire ghost stories and, um, folklore and, and all that kind of stuff, but I gotta, I gotta admit I'm a little, I'm a little freaked out tonight. My buddy was telling me about this, about the shoals when I was deciding where I wanted to go and, and do this. And he said that I was nuts because he had been out here before, just over a weekend, just camping. And, uh... He started talking about, you know, the place is haunted, and that's not something I put a lot of stock in. Um, I don't really believe in in that kind of stuff and spirits and all that. That's just not just not for me. Now I'm starting to think that maybe this wasn't a good idea. Oh, 
driving me crazy. So I built this barrier. It's a little protection, but it's better than nothing at all. Just to try and keep whatever is out there, out there. Tomorrow, I have got to reinforce this shelter. You just have that feeling that you're just so alone out here. And it's just you. out of here. I'm uh, reinforcing the shelter, putting up a, a barrier, just the more logs today, something very basic. Uh, but I think it's going to be pretty effective in trying to keep something out. It's odd because I, I went and, and looked in the general area where I thought the sound was coming from today and I couldn't see any tracks, didn't, didn't see any sign of, of anything really. So we're checking out the new shelter here. It looks pretty good, nice and camouflaged. I think it's gonna help me sleep a little better at night. Campfire's a little close, that's gonna need to be moved. This journal talks about the horrible noises that fill the shoals. I'm sick with fear. Yeah, it looks like a science expedition at first. Um, it attacks. Pulling on my legs as I sleep. Swarms of insects. I can't breathe. I run and run and I'm lost and I don't know where to go.
I can hardly believe that I'm still here. I'm really lucky to be here. This is one of the trees that fell last night. Barely missed a shelter. Holy shit. You can see all the damage here. It's like 20 feet away. You know, it's one thing to focus every day on fuel for the fire and fuel for your body and trying to just survive out here but <clears throat> the things that are in here just really compound the situation and make me a lot more uncomfortable than they need to be it's been a long day really long day um, energy's pretty low I'm not eating enough. I'm just not getting enough calories out here. shelter was covered in insects. I don't know what the hell's going on. This thing is just following me. I'm trying to find a place to stay tonight. But there's not a lot of good places. Oh. 
I haven't slept. I haven't eaten anything. I'm totally lost. And the rest of my gear is in the shelter. That's the shoal that I've been looking for, so now I know where I am. I'm getting out of here. I'm done. Totally done. The road's about two hours away, and there's no way I can spend another night out here. I can't let that happen. Oh my god, I am so screwed. I cannot believe this. Just trying to to get away, get out. I don't know. I don't know where I am. There's three of these fucking shoals, and I'm just getting lost. I gotta keep going. I'm just not gonna stop until I find the goddamn road. All right, Zach, get it together, man. You can handle this. You just got. We just got to get out of here. Just make a plan. Keep walking, and get there. I'm being followed out here. Something is stalking me. I keep hearing shit. And it changes direction. All right, this is not good. If anyone finds us, my name is Zach Wild.
I can't find the road. Like the familiar places I'm good with. So like this is this is the shelter right here. I know that I've walked this area for days trying to make it out. When I came back, when I discovered the shelter area for the first time where we we're going to have the campsite, I came in on the left. So I know I've got to go in this direction. But what keeps happening is I keep getting turned around over here. And the road's got to be somewhere somewhere beyond this. Maybe two hours tops to get to the road. This is about one o'clock and I've already been out this way about three o'clock and I've been out maybe maybe four four or five o'clock but I know that it's not over here on this side So each time I'm going out now, I'm actually marking trees just to try and leave a little bit of a trail because everything looks the same. So that way I know if I've been here before, I should be able to find my way back and I shouldn't be as lost. So what I should have done in retrospect was when I came in, I should have marked myself a trail, but I didn't. I was just so excited to be out here. And now I can't wait to fucking leave. And now I'm stuck in hell. Literally, I cannot find this road to save my life.
something is following me. I can hear their footsteps. So once I got all these <sighs> filed down, I just stick them in here. And uh, that should give me some nice protection from whatever is out here. In addition to the spikes on the shelter, I'm going to go ahead and give myself something for personal protection um, while I'm in the shelter and walking around too. Black hair, not wearing any shoes. I don't know if she's living out here. I don't, I don't know. Last night was terrifying. This is not a game anymore.
Something's over there. I'm gonna go inside.
got to find some food today. I need something. Anything. Just walking and scavenging every day is what I do. In trying to understand why I can't see any actual animals out here, there's very, very few tracks. It kind of makes sense that they're just not out here because there's no bugs. There's no bugs and there's no frogs. There's no frogs, there's no snakes. There's no snakes and there's no possums and everything else. So I guess that makes a little bit of sense. I'm just gonna stop here and look in this tree. See if I can find anything in the roots here. Typically I can find something to eat. Beetles, termites, some kind of insect, but I got nothing. I cannot believe this. I gotta find the road. Something's over there. supposed to be right here. Fuck. I'm definitely being followed. I hear branches and leaves crackling. Getting closer.
There it is. Back at the shelter. It's a sight for sore eyes. I just wish I was on the road right now. sign of civilization I have is the plane that flies overhead every now and then.